Welcome back to Surfer's Paradise here on the island of Bali. It's a popular tourist destination where you can do a lot of things outside of the surf. Check out the beautiful rice terraces. You could go up to Ubud and relax, do some yoga, and get right back to action here at Karamas. Getting started quickly here with Felipe Toledo and Ryan Callanan. Fresh off the all-California matchup that saw Andino take on his uh, lifelong childhood rival in Connor Coffin. Kolohe into the quarters to battle with Jeremy Flores as we work out the back half of the quarterfinal series. Felipe Toledo definitely well and truly on his way to uh, injecting himself into that world title race, but Ryan Callan had other ideas. Toledo up in motion, setting that rail work. Flying down the line, sits on the roof <laughs> for the disco float. Channeling a little bit of Mason Ho on that little front side floater. That speed, when you're weightless on the roof of the barrel, most people want to keep their feet locked and loaded. Let's take another look. Yeah, well, Felipe Toledo understanding this wasn't going to be a keeper score for him, so having a little bit of fun entertaining the crowd. A little bit of a foot shuffle there. The Fred Astaire, let's call it, uh, on top of the lip <laughs> of the wave there. When he was 16, he was in that prestigious event at Newcastle, and he blitzed everybody in the field. Ended up finishing runner-up in the final to Cardoso, and he was just 16. Here's Kalanen. First turn, nice clean off the lip. There's the car throwing some water. Steady pace for Arkel. Nice clean wrapping turn. Inside wedge is bending away, but he still rips it off the top and will flow out of there. Clean backhand surfing for Ryan. 4-0, 3 or higher gets in the lead off Toledo at 25 minutes ago. You know, he's got a, an amazing repertoire of maneuvers, and I, I like the fact that he just stuck to his guns on this one. Beautiful backside hooking maneuver there. I love the way he drove off the fins on that maneuver number two. And then just as the wave separates in half, finding that little end section and a beautiful dismount. So Ryan Callan looking sharp in the early stages of this heat. He's going to have to, Joe. I think on his backhand, he's going to need a little bit more room to move than Toledo. What's the second turn on this wave? I think is the money shot. Nice opening turn there, connecting nicely. Then watch how he comes off the bottom and then drives off the fins. Keeps that board moving all the way back around into the power source of the wave. Just fanning out that spray. Incredible stuff there from Ryan Callan and just a great rotation off the body. His performances at the US Open were incredible. Always the guy to beat there. Actually had to withdraw from injury. The last time he was in competition there, arkow has got a fun one. Blow tail out of the gates. Ends up being complete. It's such a different type of backside turn that a lot of goofy foots don't have in their repertoire. Right there, he was trying to just blow the back of the board out the back towards the panel. Kind of conditions are uh, really kind of perfect for it. You got that little tiny bit of onshore wind, but it's you know made it so nice to be able to identify the lip line, so you can see that really well right now. So every every wave able to read really well. It's really glassy. It's hard. Let's see what Toledo's got off the bottom. Smashes through the lip, throws the tail. Beautiful transition turn. Nice sweep off the top. He's gonna look for more on the inside. As he sweeps around, you guys take it away. There's a lot of action going on right now. Thank you, Strider. Off the bottom, Toledo blitzes the lip vertically with the tail slide. Little power gouge just to seal the deal on the inside corner. And then Toledo, well, we knew he was going to have to do something special to get himself in the mix. I mean, that was easy as for Felipe Toledo, just throwing the board out towards the beach more. And then just filling work through the inside here. So Toledo trying to get a good score on the board, keeping up with Ryan Kellen all the way through the inside here. So definitely Toledo's best wave. But watch this turn here, Joe. As he comes off the bottom, double pump, bottom turn. And he just hucks the board out onto the open face, pokes the nose, lands the tail, spins it around. I mean, there's a lot going on there, Kellen, on the wave number two behind. Beautiful backside vertical attack. And there's that extension again as he just extends that body into those beautiful backside maneuvers. So 6.67 on the first one. He's going to back it up with another solid score. Beyond vertical there from Callanan. And I like the way he comes down straight back down as well. Not wasting any of the wave and then straight into that next turn. Beautiful bottom turn right there. Just to have the confidence in your ability and your equipment to just lay that board over on the right. 
tail, knowing it's going to drive off the fins. And again, there's that extension, kicking that tail out. And he's just going by instinct on that wave. Such an explosive nose pick reverse for Toledo. Here's Ryan. Straight up through that first section. Here comes the top turn car. Full section meets it vertically and stays on his feet. Even wants more of this end section. Caught up to it for a backhand float. And now a chundery little corner. He'll <laughs> skip out of there before he hits the reef. But nice read for Callanan with some big backhand hooks. He's having a similar approach to his waves. Big vertical to wrap to vertical on the third turn. Let's yep. go to that first turn again. Yeah, the first turn was amazing. I mean, just connecting beautifully with it. The thing I like about Ryan is he's not scared to finish his maneuvers off. Like that one right there, and then realizing, oh, okay, there's plenty more wave left over, and now I'll start dealing with that. You know, a lot of people turn short because they don't want to miss that inside section where Ryan's not afraid to really finish his maneuvers off. Give every maneuver that undivided attention. You can see here, nice deep low bottom turn, connecting vertical again on the back end, straight into the next maneuver. Brings it all the way back around. Not scared to finish it off, like I said. And then that two-for-one combo. Another vertical maneuver. Big, solid set out the back. Toledo off the bottom. A huge forehand carve. Set up carve to set up the inside track. He's got the lip line. Tail blow reverse. Wraps it through this inside corner. He wants more. Front side reverse down the line still crushes it. Wow. Called the best surfer in high performance conditions for a good reason. Giving you a big example of that. With all the variety he just threw down at Karamas. Toledo though. First maneuver. Jamming it in the pocket right under the lip. Incredible rail surfing from Toledo. And then combos it up. I mean this is what the judges want to see. They want to see that variety. They want to see progression. Toledo showing and ticking every single box right here. Look the pop he got on that little wave right there. So 5.9 on the wave before for Toledo. Still looking for a 6-3-1. I love the gouge in the pocket there. Didn't waste any of that wave. Drawing straight off the bottom. Real critical stuff. Surfing right in the pocket, right in the power source is Felipe Toledo. And there's the freaky talent that this kid's got. The ability just to pop that board out, even if there's no ramp there, Joe. He's got that ability to throw that board out of the wave. And then watch how high this little one is. I mean, that's just a, a basically a one wave. No power whatsoever, but Toledo showing why he is the man to watch in conditions like this. It's such a good call, Potts, when you read the lip line. That's not an air section for most people in the world, but Toledo has the pop. His number. So on the way back out, Toledo paddled over and saw that. Callanan traveling through a backhand tube. But got clipped on the tail end of it. So close. Now Ryan looking for a 7.74. Is Ryan going to go to the air? Because we know he's got that in his game as well. Especially backhand. Ryan's got a lot of moves he can go to, but Toledo wants more. He'll sit on the roof, styling off the top of that rooftop float. Crushing the section off the lip. Flowing down the line, he'll wind up and meet the lip again. <laughs> These are those performances where Toledo can't put a foot wrong. And he's controlling Karamas. He's controlling the fans on the beach. And whistles of joy. He's got the highest scores. Let's have a look here at Toledo. What's he got for us? Some hang time with a bit of a tail tapping drop straight into that next maneuver. Big snap. Look at the, the speed that he carries through his maneuvers. Coming from his dad, Ricardinho. Callanan needed an answer. Big, powerful vertical. Second turn, right on the money. He'll stretch out the car. And that's nothing uh, left for him on that inside shoulder. So Callanan trying to keep tabs on Toledo's energy. Here in pumping conditions at Karamas in heat number five of the round is 16. We're trying to work out those transitions and Toledo just slightly fast on his feet. Ryan surfing bigger on the backhand. Upside down yet again. Three solid maneuvers and kicks out. So Ryan looking for a solid score. The new nine, which is a 7.74. Few nines, I think his lowest score in that heat was an 8.67 or something crazy. Definitely curves his favorite heat of his career. 5.30 to go. Arkell needing a 9.16. Power hack.
on the first move. Oh, oh and just stumbles oh. with that foot slipping on the second decision. I feel like Ryan knows it's got to be perfect. To chase down a 916, he's got to be winding up just as hard as he is right now. As soon as you look at the beach, you're like, oh gosh, what did I do? But it was fun. Look at coming that feedback. Lastly, coming up against Michelle Berez, I know you said you're focusing on yourself, but he does quite well out here too. Power surfers, both, your, both yourself and him. Yeah, he's had good results here. You know, he's, I think he's had runner up, uh, if not once, if not twice, and once. Um, yeah, it, it suits him, you know, and, and he sticks to his strengths. He doesn't try to do a bunch of fancy stuff. It's just power fundamentals. A part of that crew that's surfing the best venues on the planet. Arcal digging in, looking for almost perfection on this wave. The lay into a searing carve and slides out. Wanted to really get out quickly. Two minutes to go. Enjoyed every bit of that heat. Felipe Toledo's scores he threw away were incredible. It's just showing his rhythm and form. He's had a lot of wins in his career, and oftentimes you can see it early. Toledo, 8-6, 7-3-3.